After turning 18, I barely spoke to my family because of how strange they were. I mainly just spent the holidays by myself or with friends. It was lonely, but it was better than being with my extremely strange relatives. I can't explain why, but being around them just made me sick to my stomach. When a letter arrived on my doorstep, I was unpleasantly surprised to see it was from my family. I opened the letter up and read it. It was an invite to my grandfather's funeral on Thanksgiving. He was one of the few people in the family who treated me kindly, so I decided to pay my respects. I also knew it would have no one to spend Thanksgiving with, because my roommate hadn't been home in days. The invitation also mentioned to bring a side dish for dinner, so I stayed up all night cooking one of my favorite soups. After work that day, I packed all my things up and got ready to spend the night at a hotel. It was a long and silent four-hour drive, but I didn't mind it. The funeral was held at my grandpa's home. I didn't question it. It was probably a special request of his before passing, or a weird decision my family had come up with. I arrived at my late grandpa's house. I was unsurprisingly greeted coldly by my family. I assumed they didn't take it well that I hadn't seen them for the past five years. I brushed them off. I was here for my grandfather and no one else. I set my soup onto the table and then chatted with some of my cousins that I hadn't seen in a while. I could feel how two-faced they were. They weren't actually concerned about how I was doing or if my life turned out the way I planned. They were just putting up an act with a pretty smile. No one in this family was normal. My grandfather's casket was located in the living room. It was a closed casket but I still felt sad just looking at it. The sun slowly began setting, and my delusional aunt had come out with a Thanksgiving turkey. One thing caught my eye. The turkey was abnormally huge. Maybe I was just used to small ones because my friends and I couldn't afford big ones. But I wonder why they needed such a big turkey when our family could barely finish a normal-sized one. Everyone got a slice of turkey, along with some sides that everyone brought. All of my family members were complimenting me on my soup, to which I only replied with a smile. We sat around the table, talking about the best memories with Grandpa. I couldn't help but notice my delusional aunt grinning ear to ear as everyone spoke. She would glance at me every now and then, and give me an even bigger unnatural smile. In the middle of one of my uncles talking, a scream ran throughout the room. Everyone turned their heads to the source. One of my aunts had spit out a human eyeball onto the ground. Everyone saw the source of where the eyeball was from. <laughs> my soup. My other cousins started coughing, and all sorts of disfigured body parts poured out their mouths. Everyone was screaming in realization of what they had just eaten. All I did was give them a pretty smile. No one was normal in this family, including me.